So, it's June 22nd, which makes me officially 25 years old. This has nothing to do with the rest of this video, I just felt like sharing that. 6.30 in the morning, and, and what better way to celebrate turning 25 than by getting up at 6.30 in the morning and going on for a run. On my birthday this year, I decided to take the day to reflect and think about what I wanted to achieve and where I wanted to be heading. My girlfriend was nice enough to take the day off and spend it in a park near the river that's close to our apartment with me. A few months ago, I thought I had figured out something with this channel. I wanted to be a place where I could use the skills I have with development and align it with my values and what I truly care about, namely nature, the environment, but also a lot of other things like mental health and a generally healthy and balanced lifestyle. For many reasons, and especially a fairly serious bout of depression, I never truly gave it a shot. But for some reason, that day outside close to the water and the talks I had with my girlfriend reminded me of how much I liked that idea. So I decided to give it another shot, but doing it the right way this time. Not limiting myself to any particular topic or idea, to take things slow and listen to myself and to share and create about whatever mattered to me without expectations. I had really let myself go in the past weeks and my desk and working area were definitely showing it. I took a bit of time to clean it up because I really believe it's crucial to be creative and productive. Once that was done, I sat down to write what I had been thinking, to make sure I had something to come back to when I wouldn't be so sure about myself, but also to make sure I had a real understanding of what I was actually thinking, however weird that may sound. Wednesday, I started going over my old projects and the prototypes I had made in the past. And I finally settled on one project I really want to finish. I'm a firm believer that we use too much disposable stuff, whether it's clothes that go out of fashion or containers we get when having takeout. And I really want to find a way to encourage people to use more reusable stuff in their everyday life. The idea I have behind this app is basically that create a positive and not punitive way for people to track how much garbage they keep out of landfills by using their reusable items. I say not punitive because I think we are too often shamed into doing the right thing, because we see it as a moral obligation and are pressured into it. And there's nothing necessarily wrong about this, because it achieves results and it makes us more aware, but I think for changes to be long-lasting and not feel like a chore anymore, we have to learn to be proud of the positive actions we take and feel rewarded by doing the right thing. Because at that point, it becomes an internal motivator rather than an external one. At this point, the project is basically a simple counter of a couple common disposable items. And it doesn't necessarily have a specific end goal or final features. I went over the project and cleaned up the bits that needed to be cleaned up. One of the first things I decided to add to it is a goal system. Some kind of target you can set for yourself for motivation. To remind you to always bring along your reusable coffee mug so you can achieve your objective faster. Before starting on the feature, I took a little break to get a bit of fresh air at a nearby park.
I spent the rest of the afternoon setting up a basic UI for a goal list. I hadn't programmed in a pretty long while, so it took a bit of time to fight through all the pitfalls and get things done. Keep in mind, I'm not trying to design anything right now. I know it looks pretty terrible. I'm just setting everything up so the pieces I need are there and I can think a bit more deeply about how I want them to be. When I'm happy with what the app does, I'll go over it and try to make sure things look nice. The weird colors and boxes are just there to help me when I finally get there. Thursday was spent finalizing the goal list view. At the beginning of the day, it was just placeholder UI. So I linked it up to the rest of the data that was already used in the rest of the app. And I connected the buttons to action so you could set goals and also reset them. I also ran a couple errands, which was nice to get a bit of fresh air. probably seems like I didn't do much over the past two days and that I'm moving fairly slow and that's deliberate. A project like this is a long process and with a lot of backtracking and changes. In the past I always fell into the trap of jumping head on and spending all my time trying to complete something. And that always resulted in very basic unfinished prototypes because I would burn out quickly. Things will get moving faster eventually, but I know I have to gradually build up to that point. I finished that day a little early as I had things planned in the evening, made a delicious meal and enjoyed my evening. Friday was dedicated entirely to editing, recording and writing the video you're watching. When I decided to start this channel and this project again, I decided I would spend at least one day a week making a video. Whether it's about my week of development, like this week, or something completely unrelated like a day of hiking or just sharing about a topic I care about. I like making videos, it's relaxing and cathartic for me, so I want to make sure to keep it as part of my routine. I'm not trying to come up with the next billion dollars app idea or even hope that it's successful at all. This whole process is a lot more about sharing the idea that you can create and achieve positivity with the skills and the tools that you have at hand. So I think these videos are a really important part of this whole thing. And I'm in no rush to finish anything at all. So that was it for my week. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you want to share anything and I'll see you next week. Take care. <laughs>